I love to inspire kids. Um, uh, growing up, I had coaches, teachers that really motivated me to 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 be better than 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 my capabilities. Uh, they pushed me to go from just an average student to above average and to to develop leadership qualities that I probably didn't know I had. And that's one thing I want to kind of pass on. I feel that, that it's, a, it's a duty. I'm a special education teacher, inclusion teacher. I'm currently the PACES uh, teacher. PACES stands for a positive academic classroom uh, with the socialization. It's basically a place where students can come and uh, have a little cool down kind of debrief on any kind of social skills that they may be struggling with. I don't have to see him quite as much because of how much he's like helped me not have to be so dependent on going to paces all the time. Um, just trying to figure out little things I could do and go about and how to even just talk to my teachers to try to fix something working with me on talking <laughs> and getting what I need. He's good at teaching. He's got a great personality. He loves dealing with the kids. He seems like he really loves teaching. And if you're having a hard day, like he'll he'll sit there and be your friend. I would tell him like, thanks for always being there on my bad days and thanks for being my friend. I've known Ram since he was a, a high school student. Um, he was in my child development class and he was also in my nutrition and food science class. And um, I've known his family, wonderful people, that knows how to handle children that are at risk, that has sensitivities that we as regular teachers don't really know how to handle sometimes. And Ram takes those children on. He loves those kids. It, it takes somebody pretty special who can go in there and do that every day and work on those. those are, sometimes it can be pretty difficult, pretty frustrating when you try day every day to break through some of those walls and some of those barriers and you could see where it might be easy to say well it's not going to happen but he that's not him he just keeps working and working and working and working and you look at over the whole span of time you see what a change and what a difference he's made in, to those kids I'm, I'm from here I, I grew up in Gregory so um, a lot of these kids that um, growing up in this town that that kind of had either things going on with their family or stuff like that. I can relate to that. I became a teacher because I had mentors growing up. Um, coaches played a big role in my life. Um, my, my parents were my first teachers and um, I looked up to them since day one. They taught me um, everything. I wanted to make the same impact to others. I think when the kid sees it, see him come in and he's got that even keel um, personality, he, you know, he's not overbearing. And, but yet the kids know he, he cares for them. And uh, I think that kind of triggers them to be able to, to get into that learning mode. He, he gets along with everybody, but he also has that very high competitive edge to him also that gets his blood going. He, he wants to win. He, he wants his kids to do well, no matter if it's in the classroom or, or on the field. And that's, that's what makes him a good coach and teacher. It's, it's a challenge, but the, the tools that we teach our athletes, I bring them into the classroom. Um, the discipline, work the ethic, the organization skills, that's all necessary to be a, not, a, not only a good athlete, but a good student in the classroom. And that's one thing I preach to these kids daily is that if you have a weakness, this is what you gotta understand is your weakness and um, develop a work ethic towards, and a goal towards achieving that, that weakness and overcoming it really consider him as a family member, like as a dad, because he can be hard on you and be humorous at the same time, but when he's hard on you, it's for something, something that will help you in the future, whatever he's trying to get at, at that moment. I do look up to him. He's always pushing you to be the best you can be, making you set goals and living up to those goals. And just be a great person all around. I told him this the other day. I said, Ram, I, one of my biggest memories of you on the football field was when you had about, oh, it was six or seven guys trying to pull you down, and you had that ball, and you just kept running and running and running, and nothing was going to stop you. And Ram, you're that kind of guy now, you know? 
you do this for these kids from the, the love of your heart. You give, 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 just like that football player on that field I saw years ago. We are blessed here at Gravy Portland High School to have you on our staff to take care of all these children that may fall through the cracks. You're there for them. And we love you dearly. I want to be remembered by my students just by knowing that I was always honest with them, that I was, that I cared for them, and that I, I try to encourage them to do right and to, to be um, just leaders in their community and in, within their home lives, really. I think the most important thing is, is to, to really become independent and, and care for yourself and, and pass that along to, to your, their kids one day. When I became a parent, I became a better teacher. And, uh, and I, I kind of view them as my own kids a lot of times. And uh, the same advice I give them, I would give to my own kids. And I take that to heart and I take pride in it.